Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are learning how to use C++ vectors. So vectors are very similar to arrays in the sense that they're used to store lists of information, but there's one fundamental difference. And that difference is that vectors, uh, we don't need to know the size of a vector at the time that the program is compiled. So that was what we had to know for an array, but that sort of is what sets them apart. Now this makes it really useful for us if we want to uh, for example, have a user interact with our program and input a list of values. And we don't know how many values that person is going to input because they're unpredictable. So in that case, we would use vectors and not arrays. So basically, we just say that a vector stores a sequence of values whose size can change. So if you want to use vectors, you have to include one more header file up here. So we would write include uh, vector... Uh, if you forget this header file, none of this is going to work, so make sure you always remember to write that up there. Um, so I guess if the first thing we want to do is just get familiar with vectors. So let's, uh, let's define a vector. So to do that, you just write the word vector. And then in uh, these kind of little greater than, less than symbols, uh, you write the element type. So for example, let's maybe we'll be putting into doubles into our vector. And then we give our vector a name. So we'll just call it values. And if we want, we can just finish that. And there we have defined our first vector. What this is, this is a vector whose type is double. So those are all the entries that will be going into it. And actually, at this point, it has zero. Uh, it has a size of zero. There's nothing in here. Um, that would make no sense for an array because we would need to an array can't change in size. But for a vector, this is perfectly fine because later if we are having a user input numbers, then they can start. And when the user inputs the first entry, then the vector would now become a vector of size one. And when they input their second entry, then it would be of size two and there would be two entries in there. So that's what we can do. Um, if we do want to initialize uh, this to something that's not zero, we simply just use regular brackets and we can Maybe let's give it a size of three. So now we would have three slots ready to go. And these would all be actually, it, it automatically populates with zeros unless you tell it to do something else or it initializes with zeros. If you actually, so to, if you uh, if you remove this three here though, you would get an error. Um, if you want to initialize or if you want to define a vector with no size, don't put these empty brackets here. Just Just write it like that. So it's either nothing or the size that you want. All right. So the way that we access um, in a, any given element in a vector is very similar to arrays as well. So you would go values and you just grab its index number. So just like that. So if we wanted to, for example, plop in some guys manually here in the background of the program, uh, we, can, we can do that. So let's just put in the values here. Now this kind of, kind of doing it this way, I guess it sort of defeats the purpose of having a a vector over an array, but you'll see why in the next video how we can interact with people. I'm just showing you how we can initialize it if we want to for some reason. So, so there we go. We can just initialize here, sort of input the first numbers, uh, just like that. And then what we can do if you want to print one of these guys to the screen, you would just go see out, you know, values one or something like that. Probably end the line. All right. So we'll go run this and see what we get. There you go, it's printing out that 22. Um, like I said, if, uh, if we don't actually sort of assign any values to, to each of these elements, if we leave it like that, when we go, it's probably gonna print out a zero for us. There you go, so it prints out a zero uh, and it would, it would do that for any of the elements. So there you go, that's, uh, that's a really quick introduction just to get you used to uh, just how to define a vector. Really, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Um, you know, doing it this way, it's not the most useful thing, but in the next video, make sure you check it out because that will, uh, in that video, we'll be showing you how to interface with the user and a person can see in as many things as they want and the vector will grow or shrink accordingly. So join me there and then the, the whole purpose of vectors will make a lot more sense.